Hello Libra, welcome to my channel. This is Victoria at Radiant Moon Tarot. This is your December 2021 new love reading for all of you singles out there looking for love. If you are new to my channel, hello and welcome to you if you're returning. Welcome back. I'm very grateful as always for your likes, shares, subscribes, and your fabulous energy. Just a reminder to everybody, this is a general reading. There will be a lot of different messages that come out today. All right, so just take the parts that apply to your personal situation and leave the rest behind. So, and if you do enjoy my readings, please don't forget to give this uh, video a good old thumbs up there and also subscribe to my channel. If you hit the notification bell, you will always uh, know whenever I update my readings. All right, so let's get right into it for you here, okay? We've got the work card. Now, first and foremost, some of you may have de decided to just uh, forget about trying to find love, and you may have thrown in yourself into your work, into your career, into making some money, into making a name for yourself, all right? It could also be an indicator here with the work card that maybe your work is getting in interfering with your ability to find love, okay? And it could just be that you're spending a lot of time there. You come home, you're tired, you're drained. Um, you know, you may have other obligations in your home life some of you have children some of you not so much okay so certainly work can be a little bit of an issue in some regard right so it's, uh, quite often that time and it's like oh yeah come home at the end of the day and I'm just drained okay so um, you know but also some of you may actually meet somebody in your workplace okay and as uncomfortable as that could certainly be it doesn't necessarily have to be somebody you work with it could be someone that you meet on your way to work or in some work surrounding of some sort maybe you go to a uh, trade show or something like that or you know a training session or something and you could meet someone there you stop for your morning coffee you could meet someone there you go out for lunch okay you could uh, certainly meet someone there as well whatever your situation we do have the destiny card here the hand of fate intervenes with your love life all right and you know there's certainly a faded energy that is coming in and you know the thing is is that uh, that hand of fate works in mysterious ways, sometimes really, really fast and sometimes a little bit slow, okay? But this may actually cause you to stop and have a second look at someone who you've already met, who you already know. This could, you know, some of you are casually dating a few different people, okay? And, but there's just something around you that, you know, whether you have met this person or not, there'd be a different kind of connection, something that you didn't quite expect, right? And it's because fate, destiny is playing a role in your love life um, in the month ahead. And basically expect the unexpected when the destiny card comes out there, okay? So maybe a little bit of a surprise that's in store for some of you. We've got the dating card, um, the dating card coming out as well. And this is actually a really good indicator that you're starting to socialize, you're getting yourself out there. Some of you are very much um, out in the dating field, okay? But others, maybe you've been focused on your work, your career, and now you're feeling as though you're ready. And December is a time with a lot of get-togethers, a lot of socialization, doesn't matter where you are on the road. World. Everyone has different um, beliefs, different um, uh, different uh, celebrations, right? But you know, one of the common themes is get-togethers. Is um, you know. Uh, spending time, a quality time with loved ones, going out and having fun. Um, and so you could really be seriously starting to put yourself out there. So when we have the dating card, it can certainly be an indicator that your um, social life is about to take off if it hasn't already. And you know, the thing is, you never know where you might meet somebody when when that hand of fate uh, really comes into play, right? Is it, you know, you're playing the field, right? And all of a sudden, you know, maybe you're doing some online dating or something and you're a little bit hesitant to do that. Not everybody is into online dating and uh, you never know. And you just never know who you might meet or, you know, how you might meet this person. And again, with the destiny card work and, you know, dating, this could be completely accidental. And sometimes those are the best kind. Sometimes when we're not really looking for love, okay, with the work card there, sometimes that's when the most wonderful, magical things happen because we're not focused on it and we're not obsessed by it. But we've got the brunette female coming out here also. Now, this can indicate you. Okay, uh, you know, this can certainly indicate uh, you and you're looking out into the future and you're really focused on that 
uh, dating energy there, okay? But this can certainly be somebody who is coming in. And the, the brunette female, yes, they likely have uh, dark hair, um, maybe kind of olive skin, okay? And, you know, but they play a significant role in your love life in some way. So they could certainly be a significant other, all right? Someone who you meet uh, either accidentally or while you're date while you're out there in the dating field. Maybe you even, uh, it could be a friend of yours, okay? That's someone that plays a significant role in your love life in some way. It could be a friend that sets you up maybe. And, uh, you know, not that everyone really loves blind dates, okay? But, you know, sometimes, you know what? We're still in the middle of a pandemic as much as we'd all love to ignore it. And, uh, you know, sometimes you just... Sometimes you need a helping hand. So there could certainly be somebody that you already know that uh, gives you a bit of a helping hand in finding love, okay? But this could certainly be a new love interest coming in and it doesn't necessarily have to be a female. It can be someone with a strong female energy, all right? But, um, you know, probably someone uh, with this particular card. It can actually be any age, all right? Any age, any background, but uh, certainly somebody who has their eye on you or who you have your eye on. All right, so let's see what else we get out for you guys. I'll take those as well. So we have, here we go, we've got free yourself, it's time to take back control of your life. And you know, some of you may have been feeling as though things are out of control, or maybe you've just been focused a little bit too much in other areas and the free yourself energy is showing that this is your time to fly, this is your time to shine, this is your time to get yourself out there, get out into the dating world, go and socialize, okay? And uh, you know, just... Uh, take the bull by the horns, right? Sometimes we need to take the first step in order to find love. Okay, if you're sitting on your couch eating popcorn and just spending all your time in the workplace, all right, yes, happy accidents can certainly still happen, all right, but... Um, sometimes we do need to take that first step. Maybe let your friends know that you're looking for love. Like, you know what? I think I'm ready. I think I'm going to go out, uh, go out into the dating field. Uh, maybe you need to put yourself out there. Go out for those happy hours, those socializations. Okay. Maybe even a singles night. Um, if someone, what is that? Do they still do be speed dating? I don't know. Do they still do speed dating? Um, but, uh, if they do, you could do something like that, right? Something where your vibe is high, you're going out, you're having a little bit of fun. Okay. So it's time to do something to take that control to be the lead player in your own story. We have expressed your love to go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Do you have someone that you've got your eye on? Okay, are you waiting for someone else to make the first move? Do you have someone that you've been casually dating for a little bit? Maybe you've been on a few dates with them, but now you're starting to think, huh, I don't know, maybe this has the potential to be a little bit more. Take that first step, express yourself. Spirit's really trying to get you out the door. We have reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Okay, you don't all necessarily uh, are. You're not all necessarily interested in that. However, one of the uh, core messages with that destiny card is that in certain circumstances, when it looks like something's going to be a disaster or something doesn't work out, all of a sudden it just may. So expect the unexpected with that. So if you have an ex person waiting in the wings or even someone from your past, all right, this card can actually be um, not just someone from your past in this lifetime, maybe someone you haven't seen for years, maybe a missed connection that never quite got off the ground. You started talking to someone before the pandemic and then the pandemic hit and all of a sudden everyone disappeared. All right, so you could have a lost connection, a missed connection that's coming back in. Okay, something that's meant to be, but maybe it didn't work or nothing got off the ground you know, um, a while ago because the timing wasn't right. It might not have worked out at that particular point, but this can also be a past life connection that comes in here also. Okay. So, uh, let's see what else we've got. And we've got trust. The situation is calling for you to have faith. First of all, have faith in yourself, have faith that there is new love out there. There's love for everybody out there. Okay. And sometimes people just take a lot longer to find the real deal and to find the real thing. All right, so trust and have faith. And oh, I love this. The last card coming out is the new love card. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. So energetically, your person is already here. Even if you're not talking to anybody at this particular time, okay, there is a new love that is coming in the waiting in the wings, that hand of fate. You don't know when necessarily. You don't know where necessarily. Just keep doing what you're doing. Put yourself out there, okay? And, you know, try not to obsess over anything. And uh, maybe even try something a little bit different but if you're looking at someone and maybe you've got your eye on somebody okay um, you know what 
express your express your love i mean obviously if you don't know them really very well you're probably not going to go up to them right away and go hey baby i love you okay that would be kind of weird um but you know maybe you need to make the first move right you have a casual casual conversation with this person especially if it's someone around your workplace maybe a customer or something and you sit there and you know chit 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 chat and whatever and then maybe you say something like um you know hey that's really interesting well you know what i was gonna go out and grab a beer after work you want to come you know, something casual like that, right? Doesn't have to be like anything, you know, life changing at that particular time, just something to get them out of a certain environment maybe and get them out with you. So let's see, pull your tarot and let's see what we've got for you. We've got the seven of wands, the justice card, ace of pentacles, the sun, look at you. There's the hand of fate, by the way, with the justice card. We've got the 10 of cups, strength, the magician there you go We've got the devil card and we have the death card coming out here as well all right so very interesting the seven of wands right in the heart of your reading okay you guys are ready you're at your personal best all eyes are on you all right when we have that seven of wands this shows your ability to overcome obstacles and challenges both internal and external Okay, it shows that you are at one with yourself. Okay, you've got a really good sense of who you are and probably a really good sense of what you're looking for and what you want. All right, and you've elevated yourself a little bit. Perhaps you're looking for someone that has who has a little bit of spiritual understanding or who is a little bit more open-minded to uh, certain beliefs, right? You're not necessarily looking for someone that is closed-minded, okay? But this Seven of Wands does show you in that position of strength. This is your time to take, uh, to take the lead, okay? Or your time just to uh, be like that moth to a flame and attract people to you. All eyes on you when we have that Seven of Wands. Your confidence really does shine all right we've got your energy coming out here with the justice card all right the justice card um, represents karma faith okay not really faith but uh fate thank you that's that's the word i was looking for okay um shows that there's resolutions there's solutions that are coming in decisions being made okay so it could just be very much it could be you making the decision and that yes love is on the table for me. I'm ready. Okay. That seven of wands. I'm ready. I'm not going to let my past hold me back. I'm not going to let any kind of naysayers hold me back. And I'm going to be the one, you know, I'm not going to let any failed, uh, failed dates, you know, really derail me. Okay. You're just having this ultimate faith and trust in yourself. And that justice card shows that you're balanced. Okay. Um, and you're actually very ready, but the hand of fate destiny, karma, all of those wonderful energies, they really are at play, okay? With the justice card, you're being honest and truthful with yourself of what you want out of love, okay? You've got the magician here, so you do certainly do have the ability to manifest in whatever your heart's desire is. We've got the ace of pentacles right there under the magician card, and we also have the death card, so things are changing for you, okay? There's something exciting on the horizon for you, all right? Now, this death card here, this may or may not, we've got a few major archives coming out for you so certainly this um, energy can spill in over to the next month okay um, for some of you there's some great things happening in this month all right some of you are on a manifestation journey and that's where your focus is okay and others of you there's something happening and there's certainly some sort of connection that maybe uh, gets made probably towards the end of December here and then that spills in um, over into January, but there's certainly changes on the horizon for you. But with the justice card right beside the magician here, okay, you really are being very clear, very, very, being very honest and very truthful with yourself about what it is that you want out of love and out of a connection. Okay, you want something with long term commitment, okay, potential of long term commitment with that ace of pentacles there. All right, shows that there's certainly that um, potential there, okay, and maybe someone that is grounded, maybe. And again, that financial security that may, you might be very important for you. You don't want a sponge, okay? You don't want anyone who sits there and just takes, 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 takes. You want someone that gives as well. 
and that justice card, right? You're looking for balance, fairness, and equality. Okay. You're looking for certainly a strong connection here. Okay. But, um, I love that that justice card, that your energy has actually come in. Okay. And you know, with you, your energy, it shows that you're confident. Okay. You're par probably being very patient as well with the strength card there, but you are overwhelmingly positive with that sun card. Okay. We've got two of the happiest energies in the entire tarot that are out here for you. We've got the 10 of cups and we also have the sun card. So first of all, it feels here as though you are really trying to maintain an incredibly positive outlook look okay um you're trying to have those positive feelings that positive way of thinking which is incredibly important by the way since the magician is out here right what you think about you bring about okay and this is all the things that you're manifesting into your life there is one little uh word of warning here with this devil card that's coming out here okay but i'll get to get to that little pesky critter in a one second okay but I do see a lot of potential that's coming in here. We've got Scorpio, we've got Capricorn, okay, we've got Leo, we've got Libra, all right. Um, you know, so we certainly do have the potential of all of those, um, uh, all of those uh, signs uh, that are coming in here, okay. So, and it could be a mixture of things in people's charts, okay. But again, there's a lot of different people watching. So we do have those energies that are out on the board, okay. But when we have the strength card here, this is all about your inner confidence, your inner strength, all right, and also brings about some patience to the situation. Yes, this is Leo energy, okay. So there may be someone coming in um, here, okay, or you're calling in somebody who is, you know, um, who is very kind, okay, they're very kind, compassionate, they're very caring, okay, they may also, you may also have an incredibly magnetic attraction to this person with that devil card, okay, the devil card's not always bad, okay, but always requires a little bit of perspective. Now, it could just be very simply that the person that you have either met or that you're about to meet is a Capricorn, plain and simple, done, one and done, okay, um, you know, but it could also be someone that maybe you're obsessing over a little bit, okay, just saying, you've been very patient, okay, you're trying to maintain a positive outlook here with the Ten of Cups, but you see the potential in this connection, and you find that that's this person completely irresistible, all right, because that Devil card represents temptation, represents that magnetic attraction, okay, someone that you can't keep your eyes off of, someone who you have something unexplainable with, okay, it may even be kind of that, uh, you know, that bad boy, bad girl kind of energy that comes out, right, so, you know, there's certainly something that is a little bit irresistible, but the Devil card that comes out here can also be representative of that free yourself energy, okay, there's something that is holding you back, maybe something that is um, keeping you a little bit, um, a little bit attached to something from the past, maybe. Okay, the devil card can represent a karmic connection with somebody. Okay, it can also represent um, an energy of cycles. Okay, so it could be that you are looking to break free, all right, out of any past cycles and behaviors because you know that devil card really can have you looking at your shadow side okay how have i previously been in relationships um you know have i been controlling okay how what kind of person have i previously attracted back in okay and sometimes we do repeat those patterns and those cycles all over again so you could certainly be uh trying to break free out of that and maintain a much more positive outlook on things and do things a little bit differently Okay, but we do have the Ten of Cups that's here as well. And the Ten of Cups is long-term peace, happiness, um, success. You could also be focused on your current family at the moment as well, especially if you have kids. All right, and you could be uh, trying to break free from an ex. All right, especially with this Devil card, there's something that's keeping you stuck. All right, and you're not all dealing with an ex, but we do have a reconciliation card coming out here and we have free yourself. So uh, for some of you, you might be looking to get back to Together with an ex person okay with the Sun right beside it and the death card okay with all of these three I'll just hold them up see if I can do this without dropping them okay past person here something that you're still attached to maybe even obsessing over a little bit you're incredibly positive with the Sun card here you're incredibly optimistic that there is a potential here for you to 
um, fix and reconcile this relationship with the death card here. Okay. And you know, but, but it feels as though with the death card here, that there is a possibility to transform your relationship with this person. But as long as they've left their, learned their lessons, okay, there may be some sort of line in the sand, some sort of ultimatum there, especially since we've got that justice card in the seven of wands. It's like, I might be willing to let you back in, but you need to have changed some of your behavior. Okay, but you do have the ability here with the uh, with the rebirth card, with the death card, with transformation, okay, to rekindle something that has previously come to an end, okay? But you could also be with these three cards, with the, uh, the devil card, the sun, and the death card. You could also be changing your patterns and behaviors and how you deal with love and relationships, right? You could be willing, very much willing with that devil card to let it go, okay? Because we do have that justice card with that completion, Okay, the completion, maybe even some of you are still uh, in a little bit of a legal battle, all right, with your previous person, and uh, you need to clear that out, you need to figure that out um, before you can move forward, before you can fully detach from that devil energy and move forward, okay, and they might not actually be the devil, but maybe be some of their behavior, all right, but it could be something that you've been really obsessing over and you've been really waiting for for a very long time, especially with that strength card, you're trying to maintain that positive outlook. All right. And it just feels it feels here in this energy that if that is you and you're dealing with that past person waiting for some sort of judgments or decisions to come along down the pipeline so that you can completely detach, break free from, it feels as though you may actually be waiting to complete that part of your chapter. All right. Before moving on into the next one, because we've got this here. We've got you being very confident, okay, using that sort of truth, justice, okay, to come to some resolution there, something that's going to make you very happy, and then you manifest in the new, all right? So again, some of you, you know, you're all at different kind of stages in your relationships, all right? So, but that double card just it kind of throws a little bit of chink in the armor. Now, if you are on a manifestation journey, the devil card comes out as a reminder to release your intentions, let them go, and don't obsess, okay? That free yourself energy is there for a reason, okay? You need to trust and have faith with that trust card, okay? We need to set our intentions on our manifestation journey, set our intentions, and then let it go, and just trust okay, that things are going to change for you. Trust that the universe has heard what you're asking for, okay, and that Ace of Pentacles certainly shows that, right? It's like, here I ask with the magician, I'm getting myself in alignment, I know what I want, I'm setting my intentions, and here's that Ace of Pentacles, and the universe says, yes, I have heard you, and trust me, I've got something wonderful coming in, okay, because you certainly, this Ace of Pentacles certainly can represent a new love, all right, so you know, there's certainly some alignment that's going on here and then getting ready. So we do have the Ace of Pentacles and this can certainly represent that new love, new connection, something that has the ability to go the distance, okay? You're attracting in this Ten of Cups and you're very optimistic and very hopeful with the sun, okay? You're really confident, all right, that your life is about to change or that it will change in the near future. And that Ace of Pentacles, I love the Aces, I love the Pentacles, I should say, out of this particular deck because this is like a seed, a seed of something new and it has the ability to grow roots for your long-term future for your long-term potential so the spirit really is sending you something new something with the death card here that can really transform your life that can change your life for the better okay something super super positive right so that magician here really does show your deeper connection with yourself your higher self in the universe but the magician also brings about you know always a big reminder right what you think about you bring about and Every single one of your cards here is incredibly positive. The devil card is that only little kind of little heads up there. Okay. Um, but when we have that magician, that's that reminder that your thoughts become things. It's your time to turn your visions into reality. Okay. To create your, um, the life that you want to live. Now the ace of pentacles can, with that work card there, can certainly represent, um, you know, either a new job that might be where you meet somebody, right? It's a life changing event for you. Okay. Or someone new that you meet through your workplace environment. Okay. So we can't ignore that coming out with the work card right? But of course, not all of you are going to be in that particular situation. All right. But the Ace of Pentacles is a 
huge yes from the universe that yes you are attracting in this new love this is something that you can you know really potentially go the distance with if that's what you're looking for if that's what you want all right and you need to trust okay with that devil card is you know sometimes that obsession right and you know obsession is uh not exactly a free-flowing energy okay so there is a need to set those intentions release and let go and that way you can move forward okay and that way you can be open and ready to attract in okay what your uh your um new love okay attract in that new love for yourself all right so a lot of major arcana that are coming out for you guys okay not surprising considering we do have that hand of fate that destiny card there all right the ace of pentacles quite often does bring in a little bit of a surprise the sun brings in this incredible happiness joy and this huge optimism the sun is an incredibly positive card no matter where it lands in your reading okay it just infuses your reading with positivity and with success all right the ten of cups same thing infuses your reading with positivity and success so whatever your particular situation is not only are you really trying to stay positive okay it feels as though there's something right on the horizon for you here um something that will make you incredibly happy okay and again some of you might already know who this person is right maybe you need to take that first step okay you need to like gather your guts okay and take that first step and you never know exactly what might happen right because we're always co-creating okay and sometimes we need to sit back and be open and ready to receive the wondrousness that is coming towards us but sometimes we need to take that action okay so you know be a little bit discerning in your own personal situation but there's certainly changes that are ahead for you there's new love that's coming in here all right we do have solutions right we've got that uh really good karma that's coming in for you the magician shows that you have the resources that you need okay to find the right person for you all right and someone who matches your vibration someone who's on the same page as you someone who um you know maybe compliments you in a certain way and not compliment like you know give you a compliment i mean compliments your energy compliments who you are as a person and you know uh sometimes we attract like attracts like right especially that magician card but sometimes opposites attract too and opposites aren't uh, always bad right because uh, opposites if we have an opposite person it quite often opens us up to new possibilities and new potential right and they, we do things that we've never done before we try new things right and it works the it works both ways so you know sometimes yes like attracts like and we want someone that's very similar but sometimes it's that opposite person that comes in that kind of balances our energy a little bit so you know Libra your air sign right and if you've got an earth sign coming in air and earth there you go there's kind of your opposites attract right so you know but certainly some really positive energy that is coming in here for you guys okay so trust have faith okay just believe in that seven of wands energy and take the steps that you're guided to take all right don't forget to get out there socialize maybe let your friends know that you're looking for love okay maybe have that little conversation with somebody and uh you know say hey you want to you want you want to grab a cup of coffee or something like that right so it doesn't have to be like you know um, all serious or anything it can just start off just kind of fun and casual so since we do have the magician coming out here I'm gonna get a couple of moonology manifestation cards for you but it feels that things are thank you it feels as though things are really gonna open up for you pretty quick after a period of probably a long wait okay things are really starting to open up for you there okay so two moonologies these are really interesting so we've got the new moon in scorpio or sorry the moon, new moon in sagittarius okay focus on the positive absolutely focus on the positive and you've got so much positive energy that's coming out here okay just just have that really positive mindset be mindful of your thoughts and your feelings especially with that magician card there and for the most part it looks like you are okay that uh you know devil card that uh need need to detach from something all right and the new moon card okay the new moon energy we just had a new moon in sagittarius on december 4th and this does really bring about a lot of new exciting things new adventures new people new opportunities into your life so focus on that positive without obsession 
processing. And then we also have your energy coming out here, Libra. We've got new moon in Libra. No, you are loved. All right, this is having that deep inner knowing, okay, that not only does the universe love you and have your back, okay, but also, you know, that there is new love coming in. There's something that you deserve that's coming in here. And everyone deserves true true love. Everyone deserves, um, you know, to have loving people in their life, right? So know that you are loved, not just by the universe, but also that this love is coming in for you all right and that I love that your energy is coming out and I especially love that this new moon in Sagittarius energy has come out also all right so let's get a couple last messages here for Libra what else do we need to know about new love please new love for Libra please for December Ooh, thank you and that one also so these are making magic cards, so magical spells for you guys. Oh, look, we got a bonus one. We got three. We've got healing. Nice. Okay, card number 29, which reduces to an 11. Healing, candle flame, burn this hour. Bring me to, bring to me your healing power. Okay, so this brings you some healing so that you can get free, break free from that devil energy if that's you. Okay, free yourself um, from any restrictions, fears, worries, doubts, past people. Okay, and brings in this healing to prepare you uh, to move forward and welcome in new love. We've got harmony. Would you look at that? All right, considering we had that justice card come out there. Okay, we've got that um, balance, that harmony, Libra energy. So harmony. As I create, I will share harmony divine with love and care. All right, so some beautiful energy that is coming in there. And then we also have knowledge. Let me connect above and below. Let the knowledge of ancestors flow. And you see that genie's lamp on that card. All right, as above, so below, there's that magician right there. Okay, so if you are researching manifestation, now is that time where you can really harness all the powers of the universe and really attract something wonderful, stable, and very long lasting here um, with that Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles, usually that first sign of manifestation and then changes coming for Libra. I'm going to leave that there for you guys. I hope there was something in this reading that resonated. And there's a lot of different messages that come out with these guys, but you're all in a different spot. So I want to try and make sure that uh, I give you all what you need. So I'm going to leave that there. Hopefully there was something. If there was, please don't forget to hit that like button there. I thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic December. Make sure you get out there and have some fun, okay? Let things go. Uh, let things flow as they should. Take the steps you're guided to take. But first and foremost, have fun and enjoy yourself, all right? So I thank you guys so very much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.